Well, praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. What a joy it is today to come into the presence of the Lord in worship. I tell you that God is a good God, and he is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, our God is worthy to be praised. Listen, I am so excited again on this Sabbath because God has been absolutely wonderful to every single last one of us. Can you believe it? They were almost already halfway through the month of December. It seems as if it was just yesterday that we were celebrating Thanksgiving. Now we're all the way uh, into the month of December. But we give God praise because he has been faithful to us. He has kept us. He's been watching over us. He's been leading us every single step of the way. So we give God praise today on this holy Sabbath day. Listen, I don't know how your week was gone uh, for some of you all, but I pray that you are trusting in the Lord. I pray that the grace of God has been keeping you. And I pray that the joy of the Lord is still your strength. Listen, we have a wonderful worship service in store today. I believe the spirit of the living God is already here. And I know that God's going to bless us in some very marked ways. Let me say this today. I want to welcome today to the pulpit. I want to welcome uh, my friend, our executive secretary, Elder Garth Gabriel, as he preaches the word of God today. What a marvelous uh, preacher and man of God that he is. I'm excited for him to share with us on this particular Sabbath. Listen, I want to give you a few announcements even before we go into our opening prayer today. If you miss Sabbath school today, you miss another blessing. You miss another treat. But I know many of us were there. Our Sabbath school is just God is blessing in tremendous ways. And we're thankful for the, the study of the word of God. Please share that on your platform. Share it on your social media. We want everybody to know the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. As well as, of course, on Wednesday nights, our prayer meeting. On Friday night, our Vespers. And yes, we announced last night that we're going to have another mini concert. That's right, another mini concert uh, for our Vespers on Friday night at 7 p.m. So the Lord has placed a song in your heart, or even maybe it's a poem, a poem that you want to share as well. We want you to share that on this coming Friday. That's right, this coming Friday, we want you to share what the Lord has done. Now, we're going to make sure that you all email me in advance so I know how many people we have, but by all means, we want you to share the gifts and the talents the Lord has given to you for our Vespers again on this coming Friday evening. Listen, we have a couple of announcements. Uh, Dr. Christina Welsh is going to come up right after uh, I finish right now, but she has an announcement in regards to health ministry. I want you to pay special attention to that announcement today as well, as well as on the last Sabbath. That's right, the last Sabbath of this month. That's just two weeks from now. We're going to be celebrating Holy Communion once again. Uh, we've done it twice so far, and God has blessed us in tremendous ways. And we want to celebrate on December 26 as we close out this year on that Sabbath. Again, another virtual communion. So please join us. Now, again, uh, please be reminded that you are able to pick up your kit. You're able to pick up the, uh, the to-go uh, wine as well as the bread. And we want you to do that on Wednesdays. Please do that on Wednesdays when Sister Norton is in the office. And she'll be there around 10 o'clock, of course, to around uh, three or so. Of course, community service will be there as well. So please make sure you pick that up. Uh, our deaconess and others will be willing to serve you. But by all means, we're looking forward to communion. Uh, of course, virtual foot washing as well. So please do that in your home. But we want to celebrate the life, the death, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's been good. And we want to make sure that we celebrate that as we end uh, 2020. What a year this has been. But through it all, come on somebody, through it all, we've learned to trust in Jesus. We learned to put our faith in God even more so now than we have done in times past. So we praise the Lord for that. A couple of other announcements I want to bring to you today, and that is some prayer requests today. We have a number of individuals in our congregation that are in desperate need of the prayers of the righteous. You know, the Bible says that the effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous, they avail much. And we know that God is a prayer hearing and a prayer answering God. Matter of fact, just ask Andre Tank Hart. Uh, how God answers prayer. We've been praying for that brother and God has brought him through with a mighty right hand and we give God praise for him. But we need, we need to pray for one another. We need to connect with one another. Make sure that you're calling each other on the phone, that you're texting each other, that you're reaching out to one another, especially during this particular season that we find ourselves in right now. 
And I want you to pray today for Sister Othea Roberts. Uh, while she is uh, in hospice, we want to continue to keep her in our prayers. We know that God is good and that God will continue to bless the entire Roberts family, but we definitely want to pray for our beloved Sister Roberts, who also had a birthday this past week. So we definitely want to lift her in prayer, as well as we also want to pray for Sister Martin, who is in the hospital still. Uh, she's had some challenges this past week, uh, but we know that God is able. God is able. God is able. Do I have a witness? Oh, yes, he is. God is able. And we want to continue to lift up Sister Martin as well uh, there in the hospital as well as Sister Zaki Carter. We all recognize that she lost her husband uh, to COVID-19 just the last two weeks. Um, she's also had a birthday as well, but we want to lift up Sister Carter in our prayers. We want to ask God's comfort, God's strength to be with her during this season right now as well. All right. Much to pray for. And again, the list is exhaustive. We know that there's a long list. If you've been on prayer meeting on Wednesdays, you know if there's a long list, if you've been an early morning prayer at six o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday, you know as well that there are a number of individuals that we're praying for. So again, beloved, reach out to one another. May the grace of God keep us. I'm excited today to hear the word of God. I'm excited today to be able to worship with you, even in this platform. I can't wait, you know, by faith in 2021, January, we have some very exciting things that we are planning for you right now. And I know you're going to be blessed in a tremendous way. So trust me as we go forward into the new year that God's going to take us from faith to faith and from height to height and from glory to glory. We're going to see some great things as well. Oh, by the way, baptism as well. Not only on uh, January 26th are we planning for communion, but we're looking for an afternoon baptism service as well. Uh, there are some individuals who are already ready right now. We want this year to pass. We don't want this year to pass without you committing yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you know that you need to be baptized, matter of fact, somebody texted me already a few, couple of days ago and said, Pastor, I want to be in that number. If you know that you need to make your calling and your election sure, if you know that God's been impressing your heart, uh, during this pandemic to go that next step in faith. Make sure you contact us. Make sure you call us, reach out to us, and we'll make sure that we connect you so you can go into watery grave of baptism and experience new life in Jesus Christ. And again, we're going to look forward to that on the last Sabbath of this month as well. All right. I will give you a number of announcements. God bless you today. Let me pray for you as we enjoy our worship service today. Let's pray. Eternal Father in heaven, Lord, we are so grateful and so thankful that you have given us another Sabbath day to worship your holy name. God, truly, this is the day that you have made, and we are rejoicing today in it. Through all of the difficulty, through all the trials, God, we declare that you are still a good and gracious God. Oh, Father, please bless us today. Will you please fill us with your Holy Spirit? Oh, God, please maneuver and challenge us, God, to be more like Jesus Christ. And we thank you, oh God, for doing it because we've asked it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. I'm going to turn it right now to uh, our, 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 our welcome. God bless you again. Welcome today. And I'm going to kick it over to Sister Christina Wells, Dr. Wells, as she gives us some permanent health information as we go forward in faith. God bless you. And again, welcome, Pastor Garth Gabriel. May God use you to share his word today. God bless. <music> 